Hello, hello. Oh my gosh. Um, I'm Tiara, aka T, and I love to live a life that is bubbly, which means a life by your own design, an extraordinary life by your own design. So let's do it. So today we're gonna be divining messages to help you live a bubbly life. All right. Um, here are the rules. <laughs> uh, for those who are probably watching right now, you're probably watching on YouTube. I do this live over on TikTok, and so with that being said make sure you're following me on tiktok and have notifications turned on so that you can see when i go live in order for you to get a reading you must be following me giving me some likes sharing the video uh and, and that's pretty much <laughs> it uh anything that i channel it comes from source right it comes from our higher self and i really want to focus on helping you live your best life whatever that looks like for you uh so if you like to hear conversations about living your best life i do have a podcast called convos for a bubbly life you can subscribe at the link in my bio and check all of that out so uh, i mentioned sharing so i'm going to take this time to start sharing this with my friends inviting them to the party uh, to get some messages for today all right so we are going to be channeling i do have cards with me but i really like to just like directly channel uh meaning just like allow what information to come so the more more information that you put in the comments for what what you would like channeled for you the more i can i can help you uh get that information all right so let's get started i have my light seers tarot deck with me today i'm just doing some shuffling asking what the collective needs to know uh, to get started and so when I say collective a collective message this is a message for anyone so take what resonates leave what doesn't and even if I'm giving an individual message to someone know that if something like is like fired up in you if something is resonating within you make sure like that that right there is telling you that the um that there's something there for you like there's some information that you can use you don't necessarily need to use the entire your message but um know that like if if something resonates like take take hold of that and see what what that works inside of you we are all different people we are all individuals uh we all live different lives so we have to apply whatever information comes through as best we can to fit ourselves all right <laughs> hey katie how you doing miss katie how you doing fran all right, so I am I am going to give a collective message first and then opening up to anyone that would like to receive a message. Remember, sharing is caring. So in order to get a message today, please share the video. Please throw up some likes and some love. Let TikTok know that you enjoy this kind of content. And um, yeah, and then ask your question. <laughs> of course, leave, leave your question in the comments. If I'm not seeing you, just keep talking to me. Like, you know, I go off on tangents, right? All right, so with that being said, what I'm hearing from source as the collective message is remember our power. Remember that we all have power. So like you don't need me to channel messages for you. You can channel for yourself. You can bring in information for yourself. It's really about radical self-responsibility, okay? So in order to live a bubbly life, living your best life, remember your power. Tap into who you are, stand in your power, and really go for what it is that you desire to to live in this life like that is like such an amazing like such a beautiful message and i think so many people forget about it we we lean into outside validation we lean into um giving responsibility to other people whether it be like parental figures guardians um our political leaders whatever and like giving them all the power but really we have all the power we need right inside of us we don't need anyone else to tell us what to do or how to do it we can decide for ourselves we have the amazing ability to choose and discern for ourselves so what do you want to experience what do you want to, like how do you want to live make the choice to do it that way like make the choice to live your life and i'm not saying everything's going to be sunshine rainbows and unicorns because we choose to live a sunshine rainbows and unicorns life i'm saying that like when we look into our lives like we make a choice like i i don't want to live in my home anymore but if we decide to, to just stay here because we're staying here that's that's a choice right you make a choice to say you know what i actually want to get up and leave i want to go somewhere else i want to do something i choose to do whatever it is that i want to do because that's what's going to bring me like joy 
Yeah. So like search for what brings you joy and standing your power and receiving it. Uh, thank you for the follow. I appreciate it. Baby boy 55. Hello. How are you doing today again? All right. So that was the collective message. Um, take what resonates, leave what doesn't. If you would like a message, make sure that you are one following me, you are sending likes. And of course, ask your question in the comments, friend. <laughs> Uh, also, not making a choice is a choice. Another thing to remember for sure. Yes, Katie. Yes, Miss Katie. Make it like that is a choice, you know, to not speak up, to not do anything. That is that is still a choice. You might not be like consciously being like, I choose to do like to not choose. So a lot of times it kind of just is like letting life go, <laughs> go. And that's a choice. Again, everything we do in life is a choice. How we live our life is a choice. So stand in your power and make conscious choices is what I'm saying. Mm. All right. Also, drink your water, ho. Drink your water, ho. I don't know who that creator is off the top of my head, but I love her and all of her videos that say drink your water, ho. And I say it all the time. <laughs> it is a mantra in my home. I, I say it so much, even my roommate, he'll be like, drink your water, ho. <laughs> like, I'll be like sitting on the couch uh, and I'm like, oh my water is empty. Can you fill it? And he'll be like, fine. And then he'll like pour it into the cup, like drink your water, ho. Drink your water. He don't even have a TikTok, but he know, he know. <laughs> water is so powerful. Okay. Um, it's programmable. We can set our intentions in our water. Like we can just tell our water, Hey, today we're going to have a good day. And as you sip your water thinking about like, Hey, today I'm going to have a good day. Today I'm going to live my life with love and passion and joy. Hey, those are my intentions. Those are like my regular intentions. It's like I'm living today with love, passion and joy. I am looking, I am opening my eyes to receiving miracles. These are one of the things I like to say to myself and I say it to my water and as I'm sipping my water, I mean, sometimes I like unconsciously sip my water just because my throat's dry, but like sometimes I'm just like, I take a moment and lean in and breathe in that intention that I've set. And I just like to like remember that intention as I sip my, sip my water throughout the day. So when things get a little, a little cry cry, a little weird, a little chaotic, I'm like, oh, well, 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 you know what? out of chaos, we can create something amazing. So what what is it that I am going to create for the rest of the day? Yeah? Yes. All right, friends, thank you for the likes. Thank you for the follows. Thank you for joining. Sharing is caring, friends. Let's do it. Mm -hmm. oh, that is too many cards to be like trying to make a message out of. I'm like, y'all just used half the deck. But I'm gonna get up. Get up. Get up. Get on up. Which says to me, are you moving? Have you moved your body lately? Have you moved your body lately? I have been doing some videos that you will be seeing on my TikToks of like some movement um, and how I like to lean into self care with said movement. Um, a lot of dancing I haven't really been dancing a lot and I'm trying really hard not to like do too too much because my eyebrows are freshly microbladed so with the fresh fresh blade um like any tattoo you can't get it wet so I'm trying like not to sweat or do anything like that I'm like hearing movement I think I think the roommate's awake it's like <laughs> 10 30 on a Saturday it's fine he's living his best life living his best life Tess is that you is that is that who I see up in there how you doing girl what how's your Saturday yes we are taking messages um so if you would like a reading remember you have to be following share the video send some likes and of course ask your question in the comments and we'll channel a message for you there friend Ooh. I'm trying to remember if I took an allergy pill today. But yes, move the body. It's good to get like energy. If you've ever feeling like stagnant energy, especially like in that solar plexus, sacral chakra area, if you're not familiar with the chakras, we've got, well, I can't really show uh, <laughs> all the way down, but like at the root, at the root, at the bottom where you're like, you'll tailbone-ish area um those those fun organ areas <laughs> this is like your root chakra above that is your your sacral chakra that is like the womb space that is the 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 creation space even if you do not 
actually have a womb we all have that like that area we all have a sacral chakra and then up from there is the solar plexus from the solar plexus we have i'm like wait three heart <laughs> we have throat we have the third eye and the crown yeah hey alex long time to see how you doing boo how you doing? Thank you for the likes and the love, friends. Remember, if you would like a message, drop your question below. Um, all you have to do is be currently following me. Uh, share this video out and send some likes and some love. And then, of course, ask your question in the comments. Uh, and we will be channeling these messages through. Alex says, I am grand. How are you? I am fantabulous, honey. I am fantabulous. Um, back from Fiji, getting back into like the real, the real world, <laughs> as it feels like. Um, I do have some allergies. And you know, it's super, super weird, right? I'm like, what is going on in this world today? Because like, my allergies are like, who <laughs> and one of the things i've joked about about like i'm like i'm never going moving back to the east coast i'm never moving home is that um my allergies back home during this time of year you know like i'm like the trees are having sex and i can't breathe uh we can't do that and so one of the things about la i'm like we don't have trees we do have trees but i like make jokes that like you know we're in a concrete jungle so like nature does not affect me <laughs> it's about we got pollution and stuff and we got smog but like that seems to not like usually like affect <laughs> my like my allergies and so for like the past like three years that we've lived here i haven't really had experience experienced allergies I might have taken like an allergy pill like three or four times during the course of an entire year uh and that's usually if I'm going somewhere with cats uh so I'm like what is happening like my throat is scratchy my nose is all whatever and I'm like what is happening what is going on this year has been crazy now you're gonna just like you know like bring allergies up into this situation I'm so <laughs> I'm so done <laughs> And normally, like, if I'm, like, feeling, like, my nose is really tingly, like, I've taken allergy pills and all the things, but, like, I like to get, like, a, a washcloth, right? I mean, it's great for your skin, too. Like, yes. So, um, I get a washcloth and I get it really, really, like, run out under some really hot water, as hot as I can take it, get it steamy and, like, kind of hold it in front of my face and lay it on my face and just kind of, like, have this, like, steam situation going on. Uh, and if I really want to feel extra fancy, maybe put some, like, eucalyptus oil on it and then, like, do it and then, like breathe it in and like help it like open all the things and um but because these brows are recently bladed um I have another like week and a half that I have to like try to avoid getting them wet so with that I can't do my usual like steam treatment <laughs> Tessa's love how to how to describe it yes oh my god Alex yellow snow friend mm -mm. it is wild I can't I can't even mm. why can't they be wet um it's like so microblading is basically like getting a tattoo on your face uh and so the same tattoo treatments apply so like trying really hard not to get it wet don't touch it for like two weeks so that's like that's the the rule like to not touch them and to like keep them clean but like don't get them wet for um two weeks because that can affect how the ink sets and all that yes mm -mm. i saw a comment about my hair earlier thank you i appreciate the compliment i did it myself it took all of 12 hours yes honey um i sat i mean it, it's been a couple weeks since i've had it like this so i sat and watched um what's the show i already forgot the name it's a netflix show <laughs> But I literally, my mom was like recommending me to to watch it. Um, it is set Sweet Magnolias. That's what it's called. Uh, so it's like set kind of like in the South. I think like South Carolina or somewhere. And um, <laughs> and I like was like literally just um, I watched both seasons. I think there's two of them. I watched two seasons while I did my hair, like just like going, crying doing my hair not even sure if I really like the show <laughs> but I made my way through speaking of shows I hear Bridgerton is out I did not watch it last night um I might watch it like throughout the rest of this weekend though because binging tv is fun and um I'm looking for activities that does not involve me oh I can't also can't get like sunburnt so like trying to avoid going like outside too too much so that might happen this weekend as well 
Does anyone want a message? Alex, Tess, thank you guys for liking and sharing. So you guys are totally available to receive a message. Let me know if you would like one. Ask a like specific question, please. Mm -hmm. Oh, what? Okay, sorry, I'm distracted. <laughs> I was like, wait a minute, does one of my cars, uh, cars, cards with a D, um, lower my brain. I was like, it, the box has a has a carabiner on it, and then I was just like, no, that's for the radio that's sitting behind the box. Anyways, squirrel brain. Um, please and thank you from Tess. Tess, what do you want to know? What do you want to talk about? Give me like a theme, friend. Alex says, don't have any right now. Sorry about that. No worries. Hey, if you are good, I'm good. All Gucci, all gravy. Mmm, gravy. <laughs> uh, what do I need to know about my love life? Patience, friend. Patience. Patience and play. <laughs> I love alliteration. Patience and play is what's coming up for you, Miss Tass. So have fun. You know, like, yes, we have desires. And yes, we want to like find the love of our life and, and get get it going. Yeah, I'm, I'm with you, friends. Like, I'm all about the whole like, I want it now. Why do I have to wait? But like, I think a part of this journey is the play, right? Play getting getting used to like, going on dates, getting used to having conversation, opening ourselves up and being vulnerable. <laughs> I can't even say that word. That's how that's how much I struggle with it. <laughs> getting vulnerable with other people, opening ourselves to other people. So when the actual person, when the right person comes along or the right person is ready, like you you're already well practiced and in easeful it's easeful for you to open up and conversate and have conversations and talk about what you like and what you don't like and and all of those things right and um <laughs> yes every person is different so we talk differently to different people but it, it's still each time we meet someone new each time we get we pull back layers it's it's <laughs> It's it's a whole new experience and we kind of add a little bit of something to our belt. We we learn about question, how to question people um, in not like an interrogating way, but like, you know, finding that compassion with learning about other people's lives and learning about their their wants, their desires and how they can align or how they can go with our own. So like really like having fun, just having fun, getting to know other people. I think that's like the big thing is like getting to know you. So having fun you know getting to know people even if you you like match with someone that you're like i they are definitely not the one go out on a date see if they'll like you know take you out get a free meal <laughs> you know eat something good and like have a conversation see what what it feels like to have a face to face with someone that you don't really know all that well so that like when that other person comes along that that anxiety that 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 can turn into more of an excitement if you, if that makes sense <laughs> patience and play got it yes yes friend so glad to help mm, thank you for the follow thank you for the likes and the love thank you for sharing remember if you would like a message sharing is caring share the video <laughs> make sure you're following me send some some likes tap the screen to send likes if you don't know how to do that and, and yeah if you would like to um re-listen to the messages um if you'd like to re-listen to your messages or hear the collective message that I did at the beginning, I will be downloading this video and sharing it to my YouTube channel so you can check that out that way. Thank you for the likes and the share. I really appreciate it. I'm enjoying your company, Alex. I love it. I love it. <laughs> I'm pretty nervous about all that stuff, but I know I got to do it. Yeah, right? I, I feel you there, Tess. Like, I, I get it. I understand. Dating, I'm like, dating is hard and weird. But hey, if we say dating is hard and weird, dating's going to be hard and weird. So let's Let's, let's change <laughs> like, I, like I was like let's in this moment that was a bird that was like a word vomit and obviously that is a program within myself and so here we're gonna like and we're gonna bring that back in we're gonna throw that away because we don't want that experience right what is the experience that we want dating is fun dating is easeful dating is is like is is joyful dating is play it is play and an opportunity to meet new people so bringing that that mentality in and when we and catching ourselves when we say things about like it being hard or being weird or being like like you can't everybody on 
social on apps are weird and all that kind of stuff like well that's that's that, if that's our expectation that's what we're gonna see right if that's if that if that's what we're putting out into the universe that's what we're gonna get back right so like let's kind of bring that back and and say like what do, what do we want and we can apply this to any facet of our life right um any kind of relationship so like let's think about people that we might have tough relationships with like um I don't know, family or whatever. Maybe family doesn't understand you. Family, um, <clears throat> you always have like anxiety whenever you have to like speak to them. Um, but like anxiety and excitement are pretty much the same energy. They just have like a different perspective, right? So like if we're anxious, that's like, that's basically us telling ourselves these, these stories of, of, how things are going to go wrong, how things are going to go not the way we desire them. But excitement is like us leaning into the possibility for all of the like glorious, extraordinary, fun, miracle things that we are desiring coming true, right? So which one do we want to play with? Right. And so like when we notice that we're in that like, oh, telling ourselves a story of how things are not going to go the way that we desire it, that is our opportunity to like be like, hmm, is that a, the experience that I want? Can we like, stop and shift it to the experience that we do want and like how excited we are for the possibility so like when we're thinking about like the relationship with anybody whether romantic platonic family whatever like okay like you have a member of your family that you always get into an argument with what if we set the intention like today we're gonna have compassion for each other and we're gonna have fun and we're gonna like have a good conversation and it's gonna be like we might not be like best friends but like you know like we're gonna have a good time like i am going to enjoy my time with this person and see if like having that mindset and going like and putting that into play on a regular basis until it becomes a part of your like natural operating system of like i'm gonna have a good time with this person and see if like their personality their their conversation changes with you as well or even just how you receive their conversation changes so like you know I used this the other day with like a phone call and I was like oh you know like oh I gotta get this phone call I'm gonna have a good time on this call and someone said something to me that like and they normally say and it usually gets me like super amped up and triggered. And I realized I was like, huh, I it just kind of rolled off my back. You know, my pers like my perspective shifted and it's not anything. Comp the words weren't different, but my perspective, my perspective, <laughs> my perspective shifted. And so I was just like, ah, I'm not bothered. That's their that's their like energy. That's their thing or whatever. And I don't have to play into it. Right. And so I'm going to expect to continue to have a good a good time. I'm going to expect to continue to have fun. Right. <laughs> uh tess says i've been catching myself thinking about that stuff and changing it right then i love it i love it i love it i love it it's so it's so good and i like i actually really like saying it out loud right like i ca caught myself in conversations um like the other day like i made like a, a generalization i was talking to someone hey bitch butch miller i see you <clears throat> we are doing readings today so if you would like a channeled message um just you know make sure that you're following me that you share the video and send some likes and um <clears throat> ask your question in the comments and i can see what i can channel for you but yeah so one time i was like um having, <laughs> having a conversation with a friend and we're like in the car and I forget I don't even remember what I was talking about I think I was talking about like people of di different generations or whatever and how they like you know each generation responds and I was like yeah the, the the people that are like a part of our parents generation they all do blah 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 blah, blah whatever and you know I like heard myself say it and I was like well, that was a generalization. Uh, I don't think I want that. Um, because let's be real, every person is individual. And I want to give people the space and the the ability to to be their individual selves. So like continuing to, to put even if I'm going to be like, in, even if I have this like super open and mindset about like, people like I just I love people um I'm not always a people person but, but you know in general I love people as they are where they are regardless of their race their gender their sexual identity you know whatever like all of the things all of the labels labels are for canned fruit <laughs> I do love that phrase. Labels are for canned fruit. Like, I don't care. Like, I don't care. Like, who who you are is your name, I feel like. Like, what is your name? Like, that's what I want to know. I don't need to know, like, all the other things. Like, sometimes I do like a little goss. I like a little, a little sip a little tea. So I do like to know the things. But, like, 
at the end of the day like these labels aren't who you are do you are you a good person are you someone that i enjoy spending time with right and so i made this generalization and then i was like backtrack and i literally verbalized <laughs> with the person in the car i was like you know what that was a generalization and i don't like the way that sounded so i'm gonna like not do that and like cor correct it myself and i was very open about the correction right and so as we we're talking like i did with the dating just a few minutes ago like being like you know what that's not what i want to that's not what i want to work with that's not what, it, what, what we're, we're working and i find saying it out loud really helps me like i'm a verbal processor right so like it really helps me on multiple levels like i hear myself say it you know it like i physically like my mouth is moving so there's a physicality to it physically physically i don't know my brain <laughs> but like like for me like the movement and the auditory like i'm an auditory learner and i'm a physical learner like kinesthetic learner right so um if anyone knows anything about my back background one of the things that i've done in the past is teach like cardio dancing i've also done like a lot of musical theater and how i pick up and memorize lines how i memorize choreography is doing it right saying the thing over and over again doing getting it in the movement over and over again and doing my blocking so it's like verbally and physically putting the thing putting the program into my system putting the the learning into my system so if I say it out loud like if I'm over like thinking about like Shakespeare for example I'm like I had this one really long I was I was the Fri Friar Lawrence and Romeo and Juliet one time and I had this like this text and it was like that long <laughs> of a monologue that I had to memorize and I would like sit and I would read it 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 and I was like this is it's not it's not computing and then I like said it out loud <laughs> over and over and over and over and over again and that is what really like like helped saying it out loud I recorded myself and then I recorded myself and I would be in the car driving uh, on my way to rehearsal and I would like just play the recording of me saying it and I would say it with the recording so I got that auditory and I got that physical in and eventually like you know when I got to rehearsal and I, I was off book and I was like blah, 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 whatever don't ask me to say it now I have no idea what it is uh, <laughs> but that's how it goes right and so that's how we work our programming and that's how we change our mindset we change our perspective we change our belief systems it's like the practice and not getting and not judging ourselves if we like slip up if we mess up it's not it, it's learning right like we life is about con constant expansion and growth and shifting and learning and all of these things so it's totally fine Alex says I love people but I don't trust people lol hey I feel you not everybody gets our trust right and you know <laughs> I was gonna be like trust has to be has to be earned and as I thought about it, I was like no not necessarily like there are some people that like I think we're all intuitive right like there are some people that like I really have to hang out with and and talk to and get to know and like vibe with for a while before they can get like they can have access to more information access to my home access to a lot of things uh and then there's some people that I'm just like talking to and I'm like holy crap you are like super hella chill like let's hang out <laughs> right like you know there's like there's like a duality to it right like not like and we don't have to treat every single person the exact same way <laughs> not everyone deserves butch miller six says not everyone deserves our trust yeah yeah that's true not everyone deserves our trust not everybody deserves our the the exact same energy that to for them right like not everyone gets everything and i think how um when we try to get into this mindset of like like you know being a good person so to speak and like that is like that has been the program that i've been running for years uh and for those of you who are like what do you mean when she says programming like i like like thinking of ourselves thinking of our minds our our bodies kind of like a computer like we have an operating system right we have we have code that we kind of naturally react to right like we naturally know don't touch the oven we naturally naturally know to behave in like our moral system our ethics and all this kind of stuff like we have this system within ourselves that we we react and act act upon based off of like what what our structure is right what our programming is and so one of the things i've always held within me is like in order to be accepted by whomever i need to be a good person and being a good person means i have to treat everybody like this th that and the other and for a long time i was like all right everybody gets 
the exact same thing but not everybody deserves the exact same thing not everybody like is the exact same relationship right and so that's one of the things is like putting my energy and into <laughs> and like giving the energy that I desire to give to the people I desire to give it to and it's not about how they behave it's like it's about what do I desire right and like leaning into myself that is what I'm really working on now is like me boo I am being selfish af honey <laughs> and that is okay right and I think that's another thing that people are always like taught about is like oh you shouldn't be selfish you have to give you have to da, 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 da. but if we give too much of ourselves we have nothing for ourselves and then we can't we can't care for ourselves so flipping the script to being like I'm gonna go for what I desire because it does not it does not affect anybody else like really like when people when people are upset about you being like you know what I'm gonna do the thing that makes me happy and it might not be the thing that you want me to do a lot of times it's because they like to push your boundaries they like to like you know take advantage they like to do do whatever and you've never spoken up for yourself and that's why they're upset yeah so like bump it <laughs> figure out what makes you happy and live your bubbly life friend all right butch miller six is saying how old am i how old am i lord lord jesus 32 <laughs> that is one of those questions i'm like what year is it it's 2022 i'm 32 i'll be 33 in october uh people get what they give for me i feel that especially in a relationship yes 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 honey all right with that I am going to pop off of here and I am going to go over to A Bubbly Life on Facebook and I will be going live over it there. If you want more conversation with me, if you want more, um, what is the word? Conversation, if you want more readings, you want whatever, follow me over there. If you are watching this on the YouTubes, follow me all the places on the spaces so you can like catch me live and, and get those conversations. Young with an advanced mind. Thank you. I appreciate that. Yeah, Alex says, you set a boundary and they get mad when you stand for it. Don't do it again. <laughs> do it again. Yes, 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 yes. That's the other thing. Ooh, Alex, you brought up a good point. So when we say we're going to, we want to do something, make sure your actions match what it is that you said. All right. It's so easy to be like, Mm, I don't want to participate in the thing. I don't want to participate in the goss. And then someone brings you some hot tea and you like, ooh, let me sip it, honey. Your actions did not <laughs> just reflect what you just said. Well, hey, you you had said. <laughs> so make sure that you are on, on that. Oh, man. Yes, yes. Find me on the Facebook, A Bubbly Life over there i am a bubbly dot life on instagram so make sure you follow me all the places and spaces uh you can click my link in bio it should have all of my social medias things uh and and there we go all right happy saturday i will catch you on the next one love you so so much mwah, mwah, mwah.